What's going on guys and welcome back to another video with your boy Jordan, your online physique building coach. Now last week I made a video on the equation for men to get their REE, their resting energy expenditure level, as well as their TDEE, -E, their total daily energy expenditure level. And when I made that video, I got a couple requests from you ladies to make a video. So obviously I make these videos for you guys, and so when you guys want a specific video, I listen and I make that video. So this is the ladies TDEE -E equation. By the way, if you guys didn't know all these equations, the equations I did with the men last week, the equation I'm doing with the women, the ladies this week, is by someone named Mifflin St. Gior. It's the Mifflin St. Gior equation. Without further ado, guys, the equation for the ladies to get their TDEE -E is 10 times weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times height in centimeters minus 5 times age minus 161. Let me go over this one more time. So the TDEE -E equation for the ladies is 10 times weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times height in centimeters minus 5 times age in years minus 161. That is the equation to get your TDEE -E for the ladies. Last time I used myself as an example. This time we've got Jill. Jill is 150 pounds, which is 68 kilograms. She is five foot six inches, which is 168 centimeters. She is 30 years old and she is lightly active. So really quickly, in 60 seconds or less, I'm going to do the equation and show you how to get your TDEE -E for the ladies. You ready? You guys ready to start the timer? You guys ready to start the timer? So here's, here's the, I'm gonna read the equation off. All right, here we go, here we go. It didn't work. Hold on, all right, all right, wait, wait, wait for it. That still didn't work, I mean, it needs to be louder. All right, all right, cool, awesome. 10 times 68 plus 6.25 times 168 minus five times 30 minus 161 brings us to 680 plus 1050 minus 150 minus 161 which is gonna bring us down to 730 nope. minus 150 minus 161, which is going to bring us down to 1580 minus 161, which gives us a resting energy expenditure level of 1419. Since our lady Jill is lightly active, we're going to multiply our REE times 1.375, which is going to give us a TDEE of 1951. That felt like 30 seconds or something. We went over this last time, but to get your TDEE, -E, you have to multiply your REE, -E, which is 1419 for Jill here, times your activity level. And there are four different activity levels. So there's sedentary, which basically, so there's sedentary. If you're sedentary, you're going to multiply your REE -E times 1.25. Uh, then there's lightly active, which Jill is lightly active. Um, so, lightly active, you're going to multiply your REE by 1.375. Then there is moderately active. Uh, moderately active, you're going to multiply your REE by 1.55. Then there is highly active, guys. And if you are highly active, if you happen to be highly active, which don't lie to yourself, but if you are highly active, you want to multiply your REE times 1.725. One more time, this is the equation for the ladies to get their TDEE, -E, total daily energy expenditure. So this is the number that Jill would want to start with. The number that Jill would want to start with if she's looking to lose some weight would be 1,951. And from that number, she would want to subtract a couple of hundred calories. So for Jill, if I were working with Jill, I would start her out on around a 250 to a 300 calorie calorie deficit. And then if weight was not coming off fast enough, I would fill in the holes with a little bit of cardio and then just start going from there. I'm a conservative coach. I don't like to jump into things too fast. I don't want to hurt anyone's metabolic rate. I, like, uh, it's it, especially working with women, um, their metabolism adapts to lower calories a lot quicker. So with a woman compared to a man, you're gonna see your metabolic rate drop off a lot faster when you start dieting, when you get on a calorie deficit. So it's really important when you're working with women or you're just a woman dieting down to lower the calories very, very slowly. If you guys wanna use this, you can go ahead and screenshot this here. Let me just hold this still for just one second. All right, so if you ladies enjoyed this video, if this helped you out to get your REE -E and your TDEE, -E, please leave me a like. That helps me out so much. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. Oh, and by the way, uh, later this week, I am going to make a video on, based off of this, how to get your macronutrients on a caloric deficit or how to get your macronutrients 
on a cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, 1951, I'm going to subtract about 250 to 300 calories from it, and then from that number, I'm going to grab my macronutrients, and I will make that video for you ladies separately. Again, if you have any, ow, I stabbed myself in the neck. <laughs> I stabbed myself in the neck. So again, if you ladies have any questions or concerns, please leave those in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button for your boy, Jordan. And if you haven't rang the bell besides the subscribe button, make sure to ring that bell because I do post daily videos. I want to make sure that you guys are getting those daily, daily notifications from your boy, Jordan. With that, this video is over. All love. I will see you guys next video. What?